Let's see if we can do this without any interruptions. My kids are home, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, I should bring out my, what I have on my lips. Hey guys, in today's video, I am doing the Essie Spring Shop My Stash. I haven't done this series in a hot minute. I have a couple lip liners on. I have both of these are from MAC. I have cork on the outer parts of the lip and oak on the center of the lips, both top and bottom. And then for lipstick, I have Nude Embrace from Maybelline. I've been loving this so much. I've been wearing the heck out of this lipstick, although you can't even tell. And then I do have a little bit of gloss. I was actually looking for my Fenty gloss, but I couldn't find it. So I ended up putting this guy on mainly in the center of my lips. For my nails today, look at how pretty, it's so beautiful. I have on Salon Perfect Take to <laughs> Talk to the Hand. Oh God, what, I don't, have I not been in focus the entire time? So sorry. Uh, talk to the Hand, which is a very dark teal. Very, very dark. It's so beautiful, but it looks teal the entire time. It doesn't look... Um, you know, like those polishes that are so dark they look black. This is not one of them. This is a one coater. I had to be very careful because the brush on Salon Perfect polishes are very thin. And this is the kind of polish that stains a little bit. So it took me a little bit just on certain areas where I kind of missed the mark a little bit um, to remove it. And then on my accent nail, which is not super sparkly on camera, but in person it is. It's from Illyrium Polish and this is called the Upside Down. It is the first time that I actually wear this polish, and this one takes two coats. But the Salon Perfect one takes one coat, which is super awesome. Okay, where is my phone? Because that's where I have everything. <sighs> this is what happens when I don't record for a long time. I lose my groove. Okay, so the uh, spring collection from Essie is a limited edition collection. They came out with six polishes, pastel shades, all of them. And if you're not familiar with my Shop My Stash series, what I basically do is take a look at the collection and then take a look at my own personal collection. And instead of buying the polishes from the store, I do a little Shop My Own Stash and pull polishes out to substitute theirs. With that being said, I always give this disclaimer, not everything's going to be exactly the same. You know, there's, uh, there, they're off. Some of these are off quite a bit, but I am only working with what I have and I only pulled out whatever I felt looked remotely similar to their polishes. So some of the undertones are not right, but you know, that's that's okay. We're only working with what we have. So I'm going to start off with Rain Wear Don't Care, which is a creamy white based dirty taupe nude nail polish. The two polishes that I pulled out, which are somewhat similar, I guess you can say, but this one seems to lean a little bit more like it has a little bit more pink in it from what I see in the pictures I didn't get a chance to look online or I did but a long time ago because I swatched all of these polishes so long ago but the only two creamy ones that I felt are similar and actually this one more than this one right here this is Revlon's Checkmate which is an old favorite of mine I love this polish. Great formulation, a couple coats for full opacity. Mine's pretty low. Actually, almost ha have it to the halfway point because I've used it so much in the past. And I would say this one is the closest to Rain Wear, Don't Care. And then the other creamy one that's a little bit more on the warmer side because it does have a little bit more of the yellow undertone. This is called Shore Bet, which I actually substituted this polish for a shop my sash in a previous video i can't remember which one it was off the top of my head but this one great formula from pure eyes and i think this one takes a couple of coats the next polish is feeling wellies which is such an adorable name let's see if we can click on this put pull up the description i did not have anything exactly the same like the actual this has a lot of peachiness in it this one says what's the description on this guy um, Get Boot Happy, a soft pastel yellow nail polish with red undertones lifts, lifts you on gray days. So this one, I had two peachy ones, not really. I didn't have anything exactly like even remotely similar to this. The two polishes that I pulled out are not like not even close, but it's all 
I have and I would say this one more than anything comes a little bit you know it leans a little bit more into uh, wellies what, what is it called feeling wellies so this guy is from the summer collection from last year and feeling wellies looks a lot more pastel uh, and it looks a lot softer than this one this one's still a little bit brighter this one is called uh, Souls on Fire from last year's summer collection um, and this one takes three coats to get completely opaque. I did pull out this one and actually have another one here as well. This one's not the same at all. I think this is more of a tangerine orange and quite frankly I would never recommend this particular polish because this one is a nightmare. Formula is very streaky, very patchy, just kind of a horrible formula, almost four coater for me. This one is called No Tan Lines. I think I've worn it once and it was the last time that I actually wore it. And for some reason it's still lingering within my collection. I don't know why. The other one I left for last because this is a thermal polish and I've only worn it once. It's from Color Club. I'll try to find the picture because it's been so long. I only, I have a swatch of this one. I have a swatch of this one and I have a swatch of this one and I think I have a very old swatch of this one so I'll put it up on the screen. Kiss by Mist is described as a um, pucker, is a, a mid-tone cool pink nail polish with blue and pink uh, flip pearl. I don't know what that means. Pink flip pearl. Okay, I don't know what that means. Pink flip pearl. I've never heard that a description like that. Uh, the only pink that I had with some kind of little shimmer, because I had pinks I think that are somewhat similar, almost like a bubblegum pink, I would say. I, ha I think I have one from um, OPI, but it doesn't have any of the shimmer. So I try to pull something that had some kind of shimmer, like a little purple. This one has a blue. It says blue and pink flip pearl the one that i pulled out has more of a like a pinky purple little shimmer uh flash that's why i pulled this guy out this one was actually a gift to me from joy and i had never worn it before um so it was really nice to pull this guy out a couple coats for this one two to three coats because it's kind of almost like a crelly this one is from rice and shine and it's called uh, it says Collection Brandy Stronger, number 101. So I'm not really sure what that means, actually. That makes no sense to me. But uh, this one is also a mid-tone pink. But this one also has little flakies running through it. It's really, really pretty. Really good formula for this one. I thought it looked really beautiful. So this is going to be my alternative for, what is it called again? Kiss by Mist. This video is going to be a hot freaking mess. Clearly, I'm at two, 11 minutes and I've talked about three polishes, I think. Yeah. Next polish is Spring in Your Step. This is the purpley one. And this one. <laughs> the internet's so slow. I don't know why. Por qué, internet? Get it together, T-Mobile. Spring in Your Step is described as a dewy lilac purple nail polish with pink iridescent iridescence is as right as rain as he okay whatever okay so so dewy lilac purple with pink iridescent is the whole point I have a couple options here neither of them are I think this one leans a little bit more it looks a little bit more hmm like more pink than the option like this particular option that I have but I do have this one which I think leans a little bit closer this is from uh, simple colors and this is called Miss Majesty this one's also a pink but it all it has this green little flash running through it I think the base of this not that I'm, I'm not familiar with the one that they have but this one's definitely a very sheer polish and at three coats you can kind of see the nail line but there's something special about this nail polish that I think makes it really beautiful and I don't mind it showing the nail line at all because I think it's really pretty. This one the base is more pink though and the little flash that it has kind of leans purple and green which is really really beautiful. I really like this polish. haven't worn this one in a while so it was a really great reminder that I had it. Same thing with this guy although this guy is even further away I would say than um, a spring in your step because it leans way heavier on the purple. So this one is called 
prim and purple and the reason why I pulled this guy is because it also has that little purple flash but it also leans a little bit blue the flash though isn't very noticeable on the nails but it's still a really beautiful color I'm a fan of colors like these this one for me usually takes two coats for full opacity Oh, I have another. I thought I had another one. Oh god, my pie. Oh, se me tomó mi pie. Oh my god. Can do attitude is a muted caladin, saladin, saladin, saladin. Green nail polish. This one even has more of a leafy green kind of color going on in it. Mine's a little bit more on the dusty side. Theirs looks a little bit more vibrant, but still, I thought this color looked really, really good in comparison to theirs. So, this is Time is Money. This is another one that Joy actually gave me. So, thank you, Joy, for the two, the two polishes that I have here great formula the insta dry line from sally hansen is really great i'm a huge fan of that line i don't have a ton of them but the ones that i have i've for the most part have always had very a very good experience with them for me this one usually takes two coats and this again is called time is money i'm going to try to find all of the polishes and link them down below i think maybe with the exception of a couple they may not be available but you know it's just an option and if you have anything remotely similar go ahead and pull it out make a splash is a dusky blue nail polish with a blue and violet flip pearl i feel like theirs seems to have it almost looks a little bit gray in the picture just like like it has a dash bit of gray it's, it looks really really pretty the only one i have available is cinderella from sinful colors i hold on to this polish i don't actually understand why i keep holding on to this one i thought i got rid of it but i miraculously found it within my collection I'm not really sure why because this has a terrible, terrible formula. So Cinderella has more of a baby blue base. And then it has these little shimmers that kind of lean a little bit gold, pink, purple. It's so beautiful. Gosh, it's so beautiful in the bottle. But first of all, it's a struggle to get it on the nails. I want to say at four coats and it's still not fully opaque. It's very streaky. It's very patchy. It's just bleh. I don't like the formula and I don't like I don't love this color enough to deal with something like that and my max is usually for like three coats is my max I'm willing to work with a polish if I require a fourth coat but only with polishes that dry really fast because then it, it shortens the drying time with this one the drying time is also terrible so it's not one that I recommend and if you guys have any other alternatives go ahead and pull them out I'm just mentioning this one because really in, on, in all honesty it is the only one that I have that came very close to their polish I had nothing else like it so it's kind of eye-opening I like doing this series because mm, kind of makes me see what I have a lot of and what I don't have anything like which is really nice if I want to try to maybe add a little bit more variety to my collection I'm okay with not buying anything like this uh, because I'm not although I have quite a few pastel blues I don't have any pastel blues that have a little shimmer but I'm okay with that only because I don't feel like I wear pastel blues all that much I actually like pastel pinks a lot more I'm a huge fan and I'm willing to put up with terrible formulas when it comes to pastel pinks but when it comes to little baby blues like this I'm just kind of meh about it okay that is everything for this video this was a very rambly kind of video and just today it was just not you know clearly I've been I've been out of it for a little bit but that's that's okay. I hope you guys don't mind. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys did a shop my stash with the SE Spring Collection. And let me know what you guys were able to pull out from your own personal collection. Thank you guys again for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.